Hey everyone. I just realized, let me check my, there we go. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I wanted to make sure the volume was up. Good evening, hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Carol Hickman with Chick Stamper and it's the last Wednesday of the month, so that means it's time for our paper pumpkin night. I like to show you a couple of alternatives that I've come up with with this month's kit. So again, it's the last day of September for 2020, so of course I'm looking at the September kit. And the last few months it's been really fun because I have made a scrapbook page, which I don't often have time to scrapbook and I love it and I miss it and I enjoy doing it. So I did that again this month for you. So I can't wait to show you. There we go. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Cindy. Thanks ladies for joining in tonight. Couple things though, before we get started. Um, first of all, I have to show you some really cute cards that I received. So my granddaughters get a paper pumpkin each month to share. And this is from last month's kit that they made and sent me and decorated the inside. So I thought I would share and that's so sweet. And my god kids get a paper pumpkin kit to share. And they sent me a card and then wrote on it. Actually, mom wrote some and the kids wrote some and wrote their names and it's just so sweet. It's so fun to get special mail like that. And especially when you know the kids are having such a fun, fun craft day, night, uh, and time with their kids. So think about our paper pumpkin kits for your young kids, your grandkids. My uh, granddaughters are five and seven and my god kids are six. So at any age, they can really enjoy these kits and it's just fun to see their uh, just be inspired in their creativity flow, right? So I just wanted to share that proud grandma and Gma moment. All right, you guys. So September 30th is the last day, the last day to take advantage of the get and go promotion. I want you guys, let me turn this the right way. I want you guys to join my team. If you are already a demo, yay, I'm so glad, but if you're not, what are you waiting for? You want to get your 20% discount. That discount can even go higher. Um, it's a great deal. So remember this month, you want to go to chick.stampinup.net and click on the join button. And all the promotion is there. Today's the last day of the promotion. It ends tonight at one minute before midnight, mountain time though. Uh, so pretty soon if you're in the east, got a little bit of time if you're in the west. Uh, you get two additional stamp sets, some rhinestones, some card packets, and plus you get $125 of product that you choose. And you only pay $99. So get on there. You can even do it while we're doing our stamping, but wait till after. If there's still enough time, I better look at the clock. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to. I love when my team grows. It's been a fun month to add some new stampers. Some people just, we call them happy shoppers, right? Who doesn't want to be a happy shopper and get a discount on everything you purchase? So think about it and you, any time is a great time to join, but September is a great time because you get two extra free stamp sets and some rhinestones and some card packets. Uh, Stampin' Up! has told us that our next paper pumpkin kit is called Joy to the World. And they've told us that it will be eight holiday Christmas cards. And so if you are already a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin and you want more than eight, you might want to get online to your Paper Pumpkin account at paperpumpkin.com, log in and order one or two additional kits so that you'll have enough Christmas cards. Um, you can order the kits for, again, to share with your grandkids or to share with other people. Or if you're not a subscriber, Subscribe, you can go to paperpumpkin.com and it will ask you who your demonstrator is. So if you would be so kind, put in Carol Hickman. Uh, otherwise, after this video post, I'll have a direct link if you want that as well, but we'd love to have you. You always want to adjust your Paper Pumpkin account by the 10th of the month because at midnight on the 10th is when everything closes and then things start shipping, your build, things like that. So you have from the 11th of the month to the following month on the 10th. So right now we have until October 10th to make any changes to our account or to subscribe in order to get that October kit, which 
All I know is it's some beautiful holiday cards. I don't know. I don't get to know anything else. I, I do love being surprised just like you. So it's fun when the box comes in the mail. But remember, next month on the last Wednesday, I will be uh, showing you some alternatives. So I don't know what it is because it's a surprise. But <laughs> Okay. Tomorrow starts October. Stampin' Up! is having an awesome deal on a lot of our designer paper. And it's going to be 15% off for the whole month. And I have a flyer here that I'll be posting tomorrow. But there are nine and six, look like 15 different designer paper packs that will be on sale for 15% off. That's kind of exciting. So including the one we're going to use in Friday's Facebook Live, which is Magic in the Night. That's the designer paper for Halloween. So we'll be using that uh, in both projects and the thank you pillow gift for Friday. So you'll get to see that. But I'm kind of excited that it's on the list. So basically the paper pumpkin that is normally $11.50 comes to $9.78. So that's a good savings. You can order three or four maybe and get one free. I'll have to do the math. All righty. Hey, Gina, thanks for joining in, you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, I am ready to show you some things for this month. So I'm going to put the camera down and we'll take a peek at the box. And then I'll show you tonight's projects, okay? Hang on. All right. Let's see how we look here. Okay, so paper pumpkin box this month. It's a Cajun craze color, which is the uh, main color in the, in the kit itself. We've got a little stamp spot of Cajun craze. So that's why they've got Old Olive on here. So if you have your kit already, you know that this particular kit this month is, well, I'll say I was a little overwhelmed. There's a ton of pieces to it. So it actually, uh, the kit makes these little cracker boxes. So some people call them cracker boxes or just crackers for um, like little treats. You can put little treats inside. So, so they are about, oh gosh, maybe an inch and a quarter or so across as far as if you're thinking of candy that will fit inside, but you could scroll up little notes and things like that. But aren't they cute? But let me show you, you guys, all the pieces. Again, if you've got your kit, you know. So you always get a cute stamp set. And this month we have images and some cute sentiment sayings. And then all of these die cut pages. Oh my gosh, there are hundreds and hundreds of pieces. We've got pumpkins and sentiment labels to stamp on and flowers and these little squigglies. We're gonna be using those tonight. You get all the adhesives that you need. Here's that Cajun craze stamp and spot. We get white twine and we get black twine. Look at that, a whole big spool and more die cuts and lots of leaves. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. I've seen some people fill up um, like a cupcake tin with all the different dies and punch them all out. So I haven't punched them all out, but you can see there are a ton. And then we get uh, these these cracker, cracker box holders. So the little holders and I'm just looking to see if it's 18 or 20. Anyway, it's a lot. And what is fun is they are reversible. So you saw the two that I made. It's the same piece. It's just reversible for which side that you want to put out, which side you like the best. So I just made one of each in that small size. So isn't that fun? The other thing that I have seen is these have these little diamonds that pop out so that you can, when you fold it, it actually kind of comes together. See how it comes together right here? So I've seen people cut these in half and let me just show you on one because I thought it was stinking cute. I didn't do it, but. 
and then put it together like a bow tie on cards. Isn't that fun? So lots of, to me, these are, are extras. So they come out and they can be thrown in the garbage. They can be used for confetti, but you can turn them into a bow tie. I guess that bow tie, I was wrong. It, was, it would be this way, maybe makes more sense. There we go. Isn't that cute? Anyway, let me show you what I came up with tonight and we'll work on making that. So the first part I wanna show you is I made the little cracker boxes, but I made bigger ones. So I'm gonna show you how I did that um, using the same base, right? And then I just use different ribbon and things. And so we're not gonna make one all the way, but I'm gonna show you how I made the base of it so that you can put some together yourself. And then our scrapbook page uses the cute, all of these things are in the kit, you guys. The only thing that is not in the kit is this large piece of old olive, of course. That's just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And these pumpkin pie colored ovals that I made. Um, but all the other little pieces, I did use some iridescent pearls, but all these die cuts are all from the kit. Isn't that cool? Let me try to move this a little bit so you can see the whole, the whole shebang there. So we're gonna make that tonight as well. And look what's here behind the photo mat. That's one of those cracker boxes. So again, you can choose which color you want up behind your photo. And you can cut them and make smaller size photos. This is made for a four by six. All righty. I hope you like that. But I wanted to show you, let me put some of this stuff away. I wanted to show you how I just doubled these up. So instead of using one of the cracker boxes, I used two. So let me poke out these little diamonds. So everything is already scored and obviously cut and things. So the little diamonds just pop out and push those to the side. Um, but the difference is, is instead of folding on every single score line, we're just gonna fold on every other one. So let me get my scoring tool out here. So instead of folding on the first one, I'm gonna wait and fold on the second one. And then count two more and score again. So that makes it the larger size square. I'm gonna do that with one more piece. So let's poke out those little diamonds so that it closes up. Isn't that fun? Okay, put those to the side. And then the same thing, make sure I have the same uh, pattern to the outside. And I'm gonna skip a score line and score, skip, fold, and score it again. Okay, so you can see I'm just gonna attach these like this to make my larger box. So now I have a bigger box, I can fit bigger treats in it. Who doesn't like that? Now with the kit, they did send some adhesive strips, so I'm just gonna use my Seal Plus because it's handy and easy. So I'm just gonna put some right here on both ends. And then it's gonna go over just to make this longer. So, and then this one goes right here. Okay, so now I've got my box, pretty easy. So the difference is how we're gonna uh, pull it together. See how these are really tight? If I try to make these really tight and push in like that, I think that the cardstock will rip. So I wanna try to find what my uh, top part would be or my part where I wanna put the sentiment. And then they've already got a score line in the center. I'm just gonna fold on that score line and put a little bit of adhesive. To hold them together. And then I would fill this in with my treats or uh, goodies, whatever, whatever types of things you wanted to put in there. 
and close it too. And by putting the adhesive there, that just helps hold it closed and to together basically. So you can see that I used one of the stitched ovals. So let's see. So it's this from the stitch shapes. And this set has 12 different dies. So I used not the largest oval, but the next to the largest oval for my uh, old olive piece there. So I ran that through my die machine. And then I used the subtle uh, embossing folder. And it might be kind of hard to see, but it has those little, little lines on it. So it just adds some texture to it. So that's kind of fun. And you can see that I, I did one that was a little bit more Thanksgiving, one a little bit more Halloween. So I changed out the ribbon. This is our bumblebee, bumblebee ribbon from our in color section. And then this is the uh, black glittered organdy ribbon. Isn't that cute? So again, see how these don't really, you know, close and twist like these do, but it still works to hold a fun treat. So in case your treat is too big, this would be great even for to roll up a couple dollar bills in for kids, the original version. But with so many die cuts, hundreds of die cuts that come in this kit, you can make up any type of uh, decoration, sentiment, anything that you want. And there's so many sayings with the, with the stamp set. So it's got four different sentiments on it. So we're gonna use a couple of them tonight and uh, on our scrapbook page. So what do you guys think? I hope you like it. Sometimes the big kids, I guess unless you put money, the big kids maybe in your family would be, they may like something a little bigger. All right, let me take those out of the way for you. And, oh, my little diamonds, they're so cute. Okay, then let's look at this scrapbook page a little bit more. I mean, sorry, you guys, I don't mean to bump you. Trying to, trying to see here. Okay, so, as always, we've got our 12 by 12 uh, Whisper White. And I like using that for the base of the scrapbook pages because it comes in a, a bulk pack. So that way you get just get several. And then I've got a full sheet of Old Olive, full eight and a half by 11. And then my photo mat is four and a quarter by six and a quarter because my intention is to use a four by six photo. Um, okay. So let me get a whole nother little cracker base because remember that is what is behind for the photo mat. So let me show you what I've done. I hope, oh yeah, let me, a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure on my computer that you guys can see okay. Okay, so do you guys ever do that, what I just did? <laughs> this paper, there's nothing on either side, but it was sitting this way, so in my brain, I had to flip it over to put the adhesive on. <laughs> I could have put it on the other side. So I'm just putting this, I just, right up near the top, I'm kind of centering it so that the left and right and then top edge are about the same. So it's gonna be about a half an inch right, because this is 12 inch paper the, on the white. Okay, so that part's done, that's easy. I, I pre-selected a whole bunch of pieces earlier so that I can have a lot of different pieces ready to go. And then I did run that same stitched oval through my dye machine with the pumpkin pie. I did it three times to be able to make this pumpkin. And then I also used that settle folder on them. So we're going to ink this up in a little bit. We'll just ink the edges a little. Okay. So here's the place for our photo. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on. And I'm just centering this. 
Again, you could cut this into different sizes if you wanted. I just decided to leave it one big size. I gotta get pictures of little ghosts and goblins to put on it. So again, I'm just kind of centering just roughly, just eyeballing it. I thought these were cute to use. They're from the kit, and I thought they would be cute. It kind of just reminds me of some washi tape or something up there. Uh, I'm gonna use some glue dots, and I'm not sure if you can see. I used quite a few of the iridescent pearls. So I covered up the holes, which means I could put glue dots underneath a couple of these areas because they're gonna get covered up with those pearls. And then see how the pearls are on the, the kitties? I thought that was cute too. It is Halloween after all. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these on the two center ones, I think, knowing that I'll be able to cover that up and it won't show. So this is kind of a different year for Halloween, right? Well. That's silly, it's a different year for everything. I'm not sure if there'll be any trick-or-treaters, but I guess for kids, maybe it's a good thing it's on a Saturday so that they can hopefully have some fun and stay up a little bit, whatever they get to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put these little iridescent pearls on uh, these, these whole spaces here. Just to kind of, let me use the bigger size, just to um, kind of give it that eerie, spooky look because they're not just black. I could use my black uh, blender pen. Let me use my other part here. Um, and color pearls or rhinestones, and that's fun too. But I just thought this would be fun. Maybe, let's see, there we go. They're a little heavier, so it's not as easy for the little gummy end of this to pick up. There we go. And these little iridescent pearls are on the Halloween page of the Holiday Mini because they are kind of fun to use in that eerie, eerie spooky way. Last one for this. There we go. Okay. So just a little something to add to that. And we've got this and then you can see here the hats. So the witch's hats are kind of fun. I just added some flowers with some glue dots. Again, all of these flowers are from the kit because it has everything you could possibly need. Okay. Let's use my glue dots. And I'm just gonna kind of copy what I had already done because I, I like that layout. So we'll Let's get the little green leaf on there. And we'll put a, a yellow, I think this is bumblebee, goes with this set. And then I thought we could pop that up with our dimensionals. So do you guys get a chance to scrapbook much? It's so fun, but again, usually I'm making cards. So this once a month being able to do this has been very fun for me. Let's take a peek. 
And what kind of traditions do you guys have for Halloween? Will you pass out candy or are you more comfortable this year not passing out candy because of the pandemic? I'm not sure that, well, my hubby might. He might wanna pass out candy. Sometimes he sits out in the driveway now that our kids are all grown and gone. It might be kind of a quiet Halloween, right? It's hard to know. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna put on some more of these cute little things. Let's see if I can get those off a little faster with this end. Maybe, there we go. These iridescent pearls are so fun because they have purple and green and blue, just like you would think. But it's just, they really kind of pull out the colors in whatever it is that you're working on, which I think is cool. All right, so now we've got these three, three black cats. And we know at Halloween time, that's kind of a superstitious thing, right? To not, not walk in front of a black cat. It's also a cute little costume for little kids, isn't it? Okay, so I just put these right down here. No wrong or right. Let's see if I can kind of center it a little bit. I also, well, what's your favorite costume? How's, how about that? I do enjoy uh, seeing what the kids, the little ones are wearing and stuff. I must admit, not, not as much the bigger kids, but that's not fair. They get to have a good Halloween too, I hope. Okay, so these are our sentiments that we're gonna stamp on. And we're going to use Cajun Craze because that is the ink spot that came in the kit. I just um, thought I might as well just use my own. So for the bigger uh, rectangle, we're going to stamp, have a happy Halloween. And then for this cute little one, it says trick or treat, spooky and sweet. There we go. Okay, so this one I put right here and what I did is I put a dimensional right here between the kitty cat, between his legs and I just put it right on there. Because I thought that would just be fine. All right, so now we're gonna use the smaller pearls and these, it's hard to tell, they're just like one millimeter smaller than the ones on the bottom. But enough to get a little, a little cute collar on them. That one stuck more to me than the paper. There we go. Oh my goodness. So I've started on our cards for Friday and I'm excited because we're gonna do Halloween as well. I love making things for Halloween. It's just so, I find it really fun and I know some people don't and that's okay. because There's plenty of fall things and that's really the nice thing about this kit. There's so much that even if you yourself don't want to make anything for Halloween or you don't celebrate Halloween, so much of it is fall related that you can still use it. All right, so the kitty cats are done, you guys. What do you think? So all we have left to do now is this bottom part for the pumpkins. Okay, so 
So I've got my daubers out. This isn't something that I do much anymore. Do you remember maybe, was it in the 90s? How we just sponged and used our daubers on the edge of everything when we were scrapbooking? But it does add a lot. You can see here, it does add a lot of dimension. So I think it's gonna be good. And we want that pumpkin to kind of pop and stand out. But this is a great thing you could do for cards to make this big pumpkin as well. And you can go as dark or light as you want when you're using the sponge dauber. There's just, there's no wrong or right, it's whatever you like. And sometimes you don't even really have a choice because it just kind of does it for you. And then it's like, okay, I guess I like that. <laughs> because you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Lessons learned. But for this pumpkin, it's kind of fun because then you can pick if there's an area that's a little blotchy or you don't like it, you can just cover it right up with one of the other pieces. So it'll, it'll all be all right. Okay, so that doesn't take long. That's kind of nice. So basically, we're gonna put them together like that. So let me just put a little bit of adhesive right here. Put these two guys together. And then this one, I'm just gonna put just like that. There we go. Voila, our pumpkin. So I'm gonna put a little leaf, which I think I forgot to get out of my kit, a little leaf for the stem, let's, let's dig one out here. Because there's so many different things. Let's find the right, um, okay. So here's, I'm just gonna get a little brown leaf, but we're gonna pretend it's the stem of the pumpkin and not a leaf. All right, so let me get a, a glue dot. And I'm just gonna put it right there on the back. And then I thought a couple of these little squirrely stems would be fun. So same thing, just a little glue dot on the green side. Then I can hook it right to the back of the pumpkin. These curly cues are kind of fun. All right, so now let's flip it over and we'll put some dimensionals on it. And we'll be able to put it on our scrapbook page. So let me know you guys if you enjoy seeing a scrapbook page every month because I know when I first started this a few months ago, however many months it's been, um, people told me that they enjoyed that. So let me know, because then I'll keep doing it. Okay, so you can see I just put this down here, and it's kind of nice because these little squiggles are of green are mossy meadow, so they're a little darker. So they still show up against the old olive. Okay, and then we've got one of these die cuts from the kit and then the sentiment. So we'll get some adhesive on that. So fun. Let me put it a little straighter. That would help. There we go. Okay, then let's, oh, nope, let's put some, dimen some dimensionals on it to raise it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got our two sentiments on here. And 
Now we're just gonna run our string of pumpkins around. Uh-oh, I knocked off some of the pearls on this page. Let's put those back on. Okay, so let's, I'll put it this way so we can kind of see. So with the die cuts that come in the kit, there's some double pumpkins and then single pumpkins. So the double pumpkins I put down flat. There is no wrong right here. You could do whatever you want. I just kind of was making, trying to make a trail and trying to make some higher, some lower. And so that's how they ended up. And let's get a dimensional on here. Another flat one maybe up here. Can't go wrong, so whatever we end up doing with them, they're gonna be cute. That's for sure. We'll put one right there. And then here I just put two together. There we go. And then a few more of these little green squiggles to dress it up a little bit and make it seem a little bit more realistic. And they're really easy just to tuck under uh, where some of the pumpkins are lifted up. You can do it first before you put the pumpkins down. That works too. And again, no wrong or right where they go. It's just whatever you like. Just to make it look a little bit more viney, I guess is what I was going for here. Okay, let's take a peek and put, well, we'll put this one here. There we go. Okay. How about that for a fun scrapbook page? I hope you guys like it. Oh, Lisa, you're so funny. I know you still sponge everything. <laughs> you are the sponging queen. I don't do much anymore at this stage, but it is fun. Okay, you guys. Let's take a peek. Let me get our other little packages, or little cracker boxes. So remember that this will post on my blog at chickstamper.com. The video will post as well as a free tutorial for you. So you can print off the PDF that has the instructions um, and the measurements because sometimes in a video I might say something wrong and I feel really bad. So know that the PDF tutorial is always correct. So you don't have to worry about that. So here are Oops, and then here's the little ones. So however you made these cracker boxes, they're so stinking cute and anybody is gonna enjoy getting them. But you could also make them for your uh, fall table if you're having people over during Thanksgiving time. Um, I've heard some people are going to the park for Thanksgiving. I think that sounds like a fun way to try to social distance a little bit but still get together with family. I think my little baby grandson is coming to visit from Ireland. He turns one tomorrow and they're supposed to come for Thanksgiving. So fingers crossed they get to do that. All right, let me bring you back up, you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Remember the last Wednesday night of the month at 6 p.m. is Paper Pumpkin Night. So the last Wednesday of next month in October, I guess I should have looked. I didn't even look. So um, I'll look forward to seeing you then. 
But also remember, every Friday you can find me right here at 1 o'clock Arizona time, 4 o'clock Eastern. And that will change a little bit with our time changing. I'm not sure sometime, that's usually around Halloween. So I'm not sure this year if it changes before Halloween or after. But just watch my notices and you'll know. Um, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com Chick Stamper. This video will post there, plus all the ones that I've been doing these past six months are there. And I just recently started doing some DIY videos of our pillow gift that I do each week. So when I give, make the thank you gift or pillow gift and I show it uh, in the Friday video, I just show you the finished one because I send those out to everybody who orders more than $35. And so I thought, well, I'll just start doing a little video and people are enjoying that. So those videos are on my YouTube channel as well. And when you subscribe, if you have the app on your phone, you will get a notification when I upload a new video. YouTube, excuse me, you guys, sorry. <coughs> oh gosh. YouTube no longer sends out emails saying, hey, Chick Stamper uploaded a new video for you. They don't do that anymore. They just stopped about a month ago. So you need to put the app on your phone and then you'll get a little, little notification number that something's happening with YouTube. You open it up and then you'll see, hey, Chick Stamper uploaded a new video. So be sure you subscribe, I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. As always, join my mailing list, uh, email list. You can text Chick Stamper to 22828 and you will be set up to receive emails. Other than that, follow me on Facebook as you're doing here to watch this. I appreciate it. And if you're watching the replay, I love it. So I appreciate that as well, you guys. Or you can also follow me on Create with Carol um, on Facebook as well. So two different spots. Send me a message if you have a question. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching tonight. Love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye. See you Friday.